We're taught that the angles in a triangle have to be 180 degrees. Let's look at some ways we can visualize this. If we have a triangle, we've got three different angles right here. We've got angle two over here, angle three, and here's angle one. Now if we flip it over, it's the same measure, angle one, angle one. Now, what if we were to fold this? We know that 180 degrees is also the measure of a straight line. We'll take a look at what we can do if we flip angle three over. Voila! We have a straight line, 180 degrees, with all of the measures of the triangle. We can even take a ruler to illustrate this. Well, now can we always fold them? It turns out no. So if we have a triangle here, and we try to fold this one, it's not symmetrical at all, we'll find that the top triangle won't fold down neatly. Well, if we want to get the measure of this angle over here, we can actually just take some scissors and cut it off. So this angle right here is the top, flip it over, and again, a perfect fit into a straight line. 180 degrees once again. Unfold it, and we have our triangle. Another way to illustrate this, we can actually rip off the corners. So let's go ahead and label the angles of any triangle. This works every time. Any triangle you can cut out. And that would be angle two. And angle three. Now, instead of folding, we're just going to go ahead and rip them. And ripping them is actually better than cutting them, so you can remember where the angle actually is. So there's angle three. Let's go ahead and rip off angle one. And I encourage you to try this with a triangle of your own. Triangle can be any size and any type of triangle. After you have all of your angles ripped off, make sure they put them back there and can see the triangle, we can go ahead and put the angles together. So we'll take angle one and just set it up right here. So we're just adding the angles together using the angle addition postulate. And we'll put angle two over here. And we'll go ahead and put angle three right here. So if we look at it, we've got a nice line here, a straight angle, 180 degrees, and it actually doesn't even matter what order we put them in. We can switch them around. Addition is commutative and still 180 degrees. Now what if we have a triangle that has all different angles or a scalene triangle? So we've got different angles over here and I'm going to label this one with a 2 and then a different one over here. We'll, we'll just put three lines. Oftentimes mathematicians will use lines to indicate that the angles are different. So angle 1 is different from angle 2 which is different from angle 3. Now go ahead and rip them off again. Just one by one. It actually doesn't matter where you rip them off at because you're putting the angles together. So the amount in there really doesn't matter. And then we'll go ahead and put the angles all together. And line them up. And it can be in any order, remember. Just like this. There we go. and we have a straight angle. Pretty amazing that this works with any triangle.
Well, now let's look at a triangle made out of connects. This is an isosceles triangle. You can see two of those angles are equal. And we'll go ahead and take it apart. So now we have our three angles made out of rays. Those rays actually go on forever. And since they have no thickness, we really have to overlap them. So go ahead and place one of the angles there. Those are the two congruent angles. And then our last angle. And once again, we can see that we've formed a straight angle, or 180 degrees. Now, we didn't really prove that every triangle has 180 degrees. We would have to try every triangle, and that would take a really long time. Luckily for us, geometric proofs enable us to prove that the angles in every possible triangle will add up to 180 degrees. Wow! Well, we'll leave that for another video.